Hi, I want to introduce you to a teaching tool that we have here at UW Step. And it's, we call it the Learning Glass, and I am a total convert to this thing. I've been using it for four semesters now, and I've never been one who wanted to do recordings. I've always uh, been very shy about being recorded. And this is the first thing that I've ever felt was worth that uh, pain for me. So right now, what you're seeing is me in front of the learning glass. There is a sheet of glass right here between me and the camera. But you're seeing me. And the coolest thing is you are also seeing my writing. So welcome to the learning glass. What do you think about it? Do you think I'm writing left-handed and backwards? Nope. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about learning how to write backwards because the setup does that for you. It converts, flips everything around for you. So you just have to worry about doing what you want to do on the board. I love the learning glass because it's perfect for problem solving demonstrations. I do a lot of problem solving in my physics classes and I don't always want to take up a lot of class time doing problem after problem after problem. So I come here every week and I record problems. And the coolest thing is that this is just perfect because it's like a whiteboard, but students are seeing me. And they're seeing my expressions, they're being able to see how I'm going, hmm, wonder what that is, that sort of thing. And I've got multiple colors that I can use. So I can have, if I have a boring old force diagram, boring, yeah, I can do one color for the normal force. I can do another color for the force of the push. I can do a third color for the force of gravity. And so I've got multiple colors. I've got this big space here that I can use. And even on my big problems, I often, if I'm careful, I'm often able to do it all in one go. It took me a couple times to get used to how to deal with the board and you have to be a little careful about how you what you're wearing because uh, and where you stand because if you have a bunch of writing da 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 and you're standing right here it's a little distracting for the viewer. Also if I have what where'd my orange marker go? If I have the orange marker or my yellow marker and I'm trying to do some you know, pictures with this. The orange one for me, the orange one um, can be hidden by my face. Uh, if I'm wearing something blue, I often will try to avoid the blue marker. So there's things like that that took me a little bit of time to learn, but overall this is magnificent. I love this thing. It's in Millennium Hall and it's open for anybody to use, so <laughs> I encourage you to come up and give it a try. I'm happy to talk with you about how to use the learning glass and what it's like and what you can do with it. There are quite a few people on campus who are using it, so I'm not the only one who loves this thing. Uh, we've used it in multiple areas, in philosophy, in math, in physics, so it's, it's not just good for one type of class. This is good for everybody, particularly if you want to record lectures for online classes. So I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to the Learning Glass because I love it so much. <laughs> it's so wonderful. And I wanted just a short video so I can show people what it's like. All right. 